Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to our third video on how to access and use the Fourscore application for the iPad. We're going to open up our iPad, open up the Fourscore application, which we're in already, and pick up where we left off. Drop down the top bar by hitting the middle of the screen, and then hit the top right icon. Now that'll drop down the Options button. In the middle is the section that we're going to cover in the video today. The browser is essentially a Fourscore browser, just like Safari or Mozilla Firefox or um, Google Chrome. No different than any of those. It's just it gives you a link quickly to their store. Now the store function allows you to pro purchase products that are related to their um, company, other applications, and other um, pieces of sheet music that are well produced and very high quality. Now the services button we're going to open. Let's start start off with the services button. Now, we're going to go back. It basically allows you to add different functions of cloud services, whether it's the Dropbox, iCloud, or um, Carbonite, however. It allows you to access all, all forms of those. So I can click the Add button up top here. And you can see it gives me the options of things to use. Google Drive, OneDrive, Box, WebDAV, or FTP. Now, Dropbox isn't in there because I've already linked my Dropbox, which many of you who have seen my YouTube channel know I have a Dropbox account with all the sheet music in this iPad available in this Dropbox due to this function. I'll open Dropbox, and what I like to do, I have my sheet music PDFs, which are categorized from numbers all the way in ABC order, but then my sheet music files are only for new scores that I upload. So say I'll upload 20 scores this month. These are the most recent. I obviously found a Lady Gaga album, Nelly Just a Dream. You can see some songs that you may know. So all these have been uploaded into this section. Now when I go to my Dropbox, not on this iPad, but on my computer, I can transfer it into my sheet music PDFs, which as you can see are, are labeled from A to Z and in numbers at the beginning. This is the same Dropbox that you guys can access on my Facebook for free. And I would recommend you do that and download all the scores into an iPad just like I'm doing here. So this is the end of the services section. Let's go back. Hit done. Go to the top right corner. Now we're going to go to Darkroom. This is a cool feature. I'm going to give you an example here. We're going to go to the top right of the center section here. Hit the, the import photos. Recently added. I took screenshots of some scores, so I can kind of tell what scores are going to come up. So let's open this up. I'm going to hit this photo, then this photo, then this photo. Just because of how I took it, I know this is the order. We're going to click Save, and I can see the name of the score, so we're going to click it as Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites by Skrillex. We're going to click Save. Now I have it saved as a document in my iPad. If I wanted to edit it, I'll go over here. Now I can put Skrillex, so it's a little more specific, Skrillex, then redo scary, and now we're done. Give a second. And now at the top you can see the name has changed to the appropriate um, title. Also, I don't know if you noticed, let's just do this again, we're going to click we won't save anything, but we'll say we'll do it again here. One, two. Click save. You get, it gives you the option to save it as black and white. Because if you take a picture, sometimes the lighting isn't good. So we're not going to save this because we already did it. So sometimes you get like a, a, a an orange picture or a, a kind of a dark picture because of the light that you used. Well, this allows you to save it in black and white and kind of brightens the page so it's a little easier to see. So that's a really cool function. Let's open the dark room again. Now click the left center camera tab. Okay. Now I'm going to show you, this is just my room, my living room. This section over here, all those books are all the books that I have taken pictures of over the years and have collected the scores so that you guys can view and share. But it took about two years to do. So it would be greatly appreciated if you did share those scores. But you can imagine that it took some time and some effort. However, 
it's it's really fun when you get an app like this, knowing that you can have all this sheet music right there available at the touch of a button, and it weighs about eight ounces in your hand. So we're gonna cancel out of there. You can take pictures. Actually, you know, I need to show you how that works. Let's go to dark room again. Let's just take a couple pictures here. One, two, okay, done. Now the pictures that I took in are in order. The first one's on the left, next one's on the right. You would click save and then save it in that order so that you have the sheet music in the order you want. Obviously we don't need to see pictures of my phone and my laptop, so we're not gonna save this. The final section of this video is the Bluetooth section. I'm gonna open that tab up now. Just give it one second here. What this allows you to do is, um, well, I believe, there it goes, there it goes. These, it shows you the scores that are available in your iPad, as, which I'm scrolling through now. Say you had someone else's iPad that wanted to view scores with you, you can transfer scores from your iPad to their iPad via Bluetooth. However, you can connect with local devices. There's nothing around here now, so nothing is just it's just, it's just going to keep searching. However, you can connect with local devices such as a Bluetooth page turner, which I will review and show you how to do in a, uh, following videos. However, not on this video. So there's all kinds of things you can pair with, which is great. But that'll be the end of this video as we've covered the middle section of the options menu now. So on this video, I'm going to link to the next video for an application called Scribed, and I will explain how I collect thousands and thousands of sh pieces of sheet music for free. And it's an incredible application that I stumbled upon. So hopefully at the end of this video, you can click the link, go watch the video, and start collecting scores yourself. As always, those of you who know my channel, I like to share my sheet music. Um, in the description, just go to my Facebook or email me, and I will gladly send you whatever you need. This will be the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed, and please share with your friends if you think it's something useful or they would enjoy. Please subscribe as well for updates. Hope you guys have a great day.